Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kitty Loves LV here. Oh, I missed you so much. I don't think I've done a video in a couple of weeks. And um, last Friday I had a friend over and we talked long to the night. I think she went home at about 5 a.m. Or did I wake up on the sofa at 5 a.m.? I think I woke up on the sofa at 5 a.m. <laughs> um, the last couple of weeks have just been insane. This week has been beyond insane. Uh, we were all told we had to leave our office on Tuesday morning due to um, some COVID cases. Some people, now we have a huge office and I think it's only one floor and it's not my floor, uh, were tested positive for COVID. Now, that doesn't scare me in particular. I just hope that whoever is affected is okay. So our office has been closed this week and I had to, I had no other option. I had to get a laptop to work from home. I've been doing that since Wednesday. And guys, I don't know what I thought. I thought you would have more freedom at home. Um, you'd have more downtime. You could have breaks. Uh-uh, the other way around. I have done more hours I've done I did two extra hours yesterday I did one extra hour today because you're always on call basically you're there they know you're there and work has to be done at least in the office when you just turn off the computer that's it for the day but when you're home and you have access there's literally no excuse you could give to you know right I've had enough for the day I hate it. I absolutely fecking hate it. Now, the office is back open on Monday. Uh, I won't go in on Monday. I'm going to leave it on Monday uh, because that's, I'd like to be a bit, I'd love to say a bit lazier, but I haven't worked so hard that I have in the last two days and that's working from home. But if I can avoid going into the office on Monday, I will. But I think for the rest of the week, I will be going in. Um, it's been deep cleaned um everyone who's been affected uh is obviously home and uh, self isolating and all that sort of thing uh just scary like you know for them um i really didn't think i know the cases were going up but it's the summer and it's just crazy that's happening during this time you know but we knew it was coming so i just hope that everybody's okay but i do not like working at home you think it sounds ideal it is not ideal you are there i i literally the last two days i have been so hungry i haven't even had time to do basic things like just have a shower and a cup of tea and a break you're not taking proper breaks if you get any breaks i haven't had any breaks and you haven't had time to eat because it's just do the I know you're home so do this do this do that whatever it's horrible 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 so um but obviously that's what I'm paid to do so um my hair is getting curlier <laughs> as uh, I said in the last uh, video I am trying the curly girl method this time it went really curly but I don't like how small the curls are I have to finger comb it when it's soaking wet so I don't think I'm going to finger comb it anymore. I think I'm just going to leave it wider because once I do that, I'm breaking up the curls. It's such a hit and miss. But yeah, this this look, I'm not, no, don't really like. I want thicker curl clumps, but it's trial and error. It's been about maybe a month and a half since I've started the Curly Girl Method. All new products, no sulfates, no silicones, uh, no parabens, basically natural all the way. Um, because your curly hair needs a lot more moisture. So I'm still playing around with it. But it's so, like, it nearly looks crimped. It's so thin. Like, you know, or sorry, the, the strands are so thin. I would like a big clump like that. Anyway, I'm digressing. You don't care about that. So excuse, I have no makeup on. I have been working from home um, since Wednesday. So that's the one good thing. You don't feel you have to put makeup on. But I really wanted to do a video tonight. I have done videos in the past where I don't have makeup on. You don't care. You're not here to see me. You're here to see what I have to show you. So there we go. Uh, guys, this is a kind of unboxing. Now, when I say kind of, I've opened it already. Um, 
I had to yesterday. I was, I didn't finish, I didn't close the laptop until about seven o'clock last night. Um, and I knew today was going to be a busy day. So I had a package and I just needed some cheering up. It's not nice working at home. You don't get out. You don't see people. Uh, the saving grace yesterday, and I do it now every day, is take a good long walk in the evening after I've shut the laptop and that's it done for the day. Helps um, get some fresh air. Um, if I have to go down and get some milk or some you know little bits and pieces, I can go down to my uh, local shop, which is only about a 10, 15 minute walk. Um, but even if I'm not getting anything, I'll still walk down that direction and just get some sunshine. It's been really good weather. I haven't been able to enjoy it because I'm so busy. Uh, but it really does help the old noggin, as we say in Northern Ireland, helps you keep it, keep sane and get some fresh air. And uh, any sort of exercise is good for the body, mind and soul. So, um, yes, I needed some cheering up yesterday after such a stressful day. So I had to open this package without you. I am very sorry, but I'm going to keep everything here. I've just noticed the box is still over here. I kept the box to show you. So like I said, it's a kind of unboxing. It's the way it would have looked had I done this live. Um, very basic box. My address details were all here, but I like to recycle. So um, the box will then go into recycling after I, well, of course, will take all the tape off before I do so. Um, just had my uh, name and address on it. No, um, I didn't stand out what it was until you open it. Don't worry, it's not Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> so let me just take something out here because I might just give away what it is. But it's kind of like the Louis Vuitton design here. Um, there is the Vivian Westwood orb there, which is a lovely touch. It's very like how, how if you'd open one of these, also delivered by UPS, who deliver Louis Vuitton, um, you would have Louis Vuitton written here. So I opened this and as you guys know, if I can avoid taking the sticker off, I will. So it was inside here and I managed to just plop it out. So I've kept that. I don't know, why do I keep it though? What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> um, let me show you, no, I'll show you the skew information at the end. Um, just a little uh, care leaflet. Well, it's not even a leaflet, it's just one page, which is perfect because the care leaflets can be so big Light doesn't know what it's doing here. Uh, the care booklets can be so big um, and such a waste of paper, basically. So it's I just like that they just pick, go, do this, do this, do this. And it's all the stuff us handbag lovers know what to avoid and what to do to care for our bags and everything. If you're interested, uh, keep it in the dust bag when it's not in use. Uh, protect it from water, grease, perfumes or cosmetics. Dry with a soft cloth. Um, materials with a patent finish if left in contact with other materials, especially darker colors can absorb, yep, color transfer. No exposure to direct sunlight or heat. And take care of metallic accessories in order to protect them from scratches or abrasions. Okay, got you Vivian, I got you girl. <laughs> I'm in a funny mood tonight guys I'm just so happy that this horrible week is over and I've got something to show you I've actually got another unboxing tonight I'm just ah, all over the place so as uh, in my last Vivian Westwood order I had this lovely little card and I have another one I would love to be able to make out this uh, lovely staff member's name I think it's Shalera your parcel was packed by Shalera If I put that there. Oh my god, it's so much easier with the light. Without the light. Shalera? Let me guys let let me know guys if you could make out that name. I'm guessing that is a lovely lady. But I could be wrong. Let me know. But thank you very much. <laughs> Packed beautifully. Thank you very much. So here is the teeny tiny item. First time I've had a Vivian Westwood bag or dust bag uh, and a bag, obviously. Um, the wallet came in just a box. My last Vivian Westwood, my first Vivian Westwood. This is now the second. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? 
Okay, I'm too happy. I am way too happy. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Look at this beauty. So, way too bright. Got to find a happy medium. This is the Archive Orb Frame Purse from Vivian Westwood. This is the SKU Information. And of course the light does not go right. Sometimes the light can be your friend and sometimes it's a bit of a dick. <laughs> so I hope you guys can read that. So this originally was, I oh, hope it's so hard to tell on the monitor if this is picking up. I know from experience with this camera that it doesn't like to focus when I move in. So it was originally 225. No way was I gonna pay that. But I got it on sale. Vivian Westwood are having the sale at the minute. And I got it for £112.50. So half price, you guys. Now, all the Archive Orb items, since I ordered this beauty in the middle of last week, I think it was, or the end of last week, um, it, they have all disappeared from the website. Or they had. One, I wouldn't have bought this if the other thing I had my eye on, which had a fantastic saving on it, was available. But it was out of stock. Most of the Archive Orb items were gone. And tonight, I got an email from Vivian Westwood to say, would you care to take another look with the very bag that I've been looking for? And I was like, but you don't have it. It's out of stock. I've checked it all week. It's been out of stock. This is why I bought this guy. It's in stock again. One left. I couldn't have clicked that email quicker and got it into my basket because as soon as I purchased it, I went back to the email to click the link for that very bag and it's gone. So, don't know if it's probably a return. Gonna guess it's a return, but the saving on it is absolutely fantastic, as is this little guy. But would I have bought this little guy? If I hadn't got the one I've just ordered? Probably not. This is the closest I thought I was going to get to a Vivian Westwood bag in the Archive Orb. So, but I don't regret it. It's great saving, half price, and a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Why do I love this collection so much? It's easy. The iridescent metal, end of, you guys know, rainbow slick, oil slick, whatever you want to call it. I absolutely love this metal rainbow oil slicks you can call it either this beautiful iridescent hardware look at the hardware along this guys how beautiful and along there it's so pretty so this little guy it took me maybe about half an hour last night to take this off i did hear that this little shoulder or it's not a shoulder strap obviously it's a hand carry and it went through like this. Oh, memories of last night. My thumb is still throbbing from yesterday trying to get this off. So it comes kind of like that. And the chain is an added extra. Comes with a bag, of course. Like I would have paid extra for a chain. Um, that kind of screams Grammy to me. A bit old lady like don't like it the only reason i got this was one the bag i wanted i thought was out of stock can't believe i got the last one that's so crazy um and this on the website said it was detachable so without that hand carry strap and with this cool af Oil slick, rainbow, whatever you want to call it, iridescent chain. It automatically makes it so modern, much more modern in my eyes. Everyone is different, but it is a cutie and it holds a lot. Now they had a mini orb. I think it was called the mini Yasmin. It was literally like, you know, those, those mini handbags oh, is a Jack, Jack, Jacumess, Jacum, Jackmus. Do you remember that little trend with literally the bags that you could put maybe a few cards in that everyone was going mad over and they were like 400 pounds? Jack, Jackmus. Anyway, it was the size of that and it was more expensive than this. 
even in the sale. But it's out now, out of stock. So I couldn't understand why this, which holds so much more, was the same price. If not a little cheaper. Crazy. Anyway, I like mini bags, but dear God, something that is the size of a coin purse. And then they're like, oh, it comes with a shoulder strap. Don't care. What am I going to fit in it? <laughs> can't even fit in a key. Doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, so here we go. I would put the light on this, but it because of how iridescent the leather is, it's just going to shine right back. So let's see if we can get a happy medium here, shall we? Return you right. Ah, now you can see the leather much better. And you can see the hardware much better in no light. So, I think the little clasps here are the best um, point of reference for what it looks like, including the gorgeous iridescent metal on the clasp here, and of course on the beautiful orb. So let's turn him, him around a little bit. Best of both worlds. So I have it stuffed. Um, I don't think it was stuffed when I got it. No, I just stuffed it myself. So, yes, same as my archive, try again, same as my archive orb coin purse, I'm not crazy about the lining. With such beautiful colours, why you would have a boring brown interior doesn't make sense to me, but there you go. So, it just has Vivian Westwood genuine leather, little stamp on here. I'm not even going to try and get this focused because it's... Going to be cray cray for you to see this it's all stamped in here it's very very hard to see um and you have a slip compartment as well which is pretty cool don't know what you'd fit in there but you've got the option there we go so haven't done this yet since i bought this little beauty oh and i've got to show you that it fits perfect crossbody there's no uh adjustments on this there's no uh holes or a way to make it shorter but this hits perfect on my hip where I love crossbodies to hit so there we go really wasn't expecting that I thought it was going to be super dinky short where you could just hold it on one shoulder so that is cool just before I wrap this up I just want to try something I thought I could get away with not getting up Let us see if my if my archive orb beautiful coin purse is it stuffed? No, it's not. Fits in here. Oh my god, it's like a baby and a mummy. Oh, how cute is that? That is so so cute. It looks exactly the same, the inclusion and everything. I think this is going to fit. I think it's going to fit well. Yep. Plenty of room. Plenty of room for your phone, keys, card holder, lipstick. This is why I got it, because it fits so much more than the mini Yasmin. Crazy. Don't get many. I don't, is it nano bags or... My, micro bags, micro bags, that's it. Micro, micro, not mini, because this is a mini bag, obviously. So that is so cool that that fits that, because I hadn't even tried it until I just tried it there. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, baby and mummy. How cute is that? So there we go, guys. I will try, try to lay, leave a link to this in the description box below. But I think it, they are definitely now sold out on the Vivian Westwood uh, website. Um, like I said, I wasn't too keen about this little guy. Kind of made it look kind of like your granny's handbag. In my opinion, everyone's different. So don't come at me. But because they could be detached and it came with this cool strap in the iridescent metal. Yeah, so cool. So there we go, guys. Um very happy with my purchase um hopefully could i use it tomorrow we're going out for dinner tomorrow uh first time since early july booked thank god and it's going to be a great day yay 
who would have thought it's gonna be a great day for once uh, it's a bit too great because uh, I'm dying here <laughs> kind of a good thing I'm not wearing makeup it would be all the way down my face right now so guys thank you so much for watching really appreciate it so glad I get to speak to you again I've missed you Mwah. You guys are great. Um, honestly, uh, I spoke to Autumn as well, Autumn Beckman. Um, she was asking me how the colour of my Erin 30 looked. I directed her to my video and she was so sweet and so lovely. And she said, if I have any discount codes, please share them. Let's save people money. So that is so sweet of Autumn. I don't know if she's going to be watching this, but if you are, girl, thank you so much. Mwah. Um, uh, she is such a sweetheart um so she does have 10 percent off discount code on handbag crave i can now tell you uh with autumn's permission that that discount code is autumn 10 altogether all one word for 10 percent off at handbag crave if you're interested in any of the errand bags or any other bags that they have the shipping now because it comes from uk if you live in the uk is super quick as it used to come from china um, but I'm definitely done with the errands now. I have three. I have uh, two in the errand 25, one in the 30. And I think I'm done. <laughs> and they're not cheap bags. Like, this isn't a cheap bag. Um, so, you know, I have to kind of frustrate myself. Um, but if there's something that really catches your eye, you love the Birkin or you love the Kelly, but you want a good leather version, a dupe, a good dupe, um, please check out Handbag Crave. And use Autumn's uh, discount code for 10% off save me about 13 15 quid every time brilliant so guys thank you so much for watching oh god i've talked too much i'm just excited to see you all i've missed you so much um yes thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it have a great weekend i have another unboxing which i will do after this um but if you're not going to hang around for that and you just wanted to see this thank you thank you anyway i really appreciate it so guys see you in the next one if you're watching if not have a great weekend and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, guys.